Hello and welcome to Top 10 Horror Movies YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 horror movies where nobody wins. If you like your horror movie endings happy, then stay far away from these 10 films. The paragraph introduces a list of 10 horror movies that have unhappy endings. It contrasts these movies with the typical horror formula where the hero defeats the villain and survives. It suggests that some horror movies are self-aware, some are nihilistic, and some are different altogether. It argues that the most horrifying thing is when all the suffering in the movie is meaningless. Well, that was a tad existential. Let's get onto the list, shall we? Swallow this. The Lighthouse 2019. The Lighthouse, directed by Robert Eggers, is a captivating and terrifying example of folk horror. The story revolves around two lighthouse keepers, Winslow, Robert Pattison, and Thomas, Willem Dafoe, who are isolated together. The film skillfully builds tension thanks to the outstanding performances of the lead actors. As the tale of madness, betrayal, and mermaids unfolds, Pattison's character becomes obsessed with the lighthouse's light. In a climactic moment, he kills Thomas and climbs the stairs, expecting something profound. However, he only experiences a burning sensation accompanied by manic laughter. He loses his balance, tumbles down the steps, and the film ends with seagulls devouring his naked body. The lighthouse represents an unknown force that gradually drives both men to madness and violence, surpassing their power struggles and authority. Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow! The Others, 2001 the Others is a refreshing horror film that stood out in the peculiar era of Hollywood horror movies in the early 2000s. Set during the Second World War, the story revolves around Grace, a woman whose husband is away at war. Grace and her two children reside in a vast mansion, where the children are confined indoors due to their sensitivity to sunlight caused by a medical condition. As the narrative progresses, tension builds up within the house as the children claim the presence of someone or something else. In a shocking twist, it is revealed that the children and Grace herself are actually ghosts. Grace had smothered her children and then took her own life out of madness and loneliness. Though the truth is unveiled, they are destined to remain in the house eternally. The film offers a hauntingly atmospheric experience amidst a turbulent time for horror cinema. Possum 2018 Possum is a captivating and unsettling film that revolves around Philip, a peculiar and isolated man who attempts to dispose of a puppet upon returning to his childhood home. The reasons behind Philip's return and the presence of his eerie uncle in the house remain unknown, adding to the film's enigmatic atmosphere. Throughout the story, the audience is left guessing about the film's direction and meaning until the final moments. It is then revealed that Uncle Maurice holds some responsibility for Philip's traumatic experiences, the disappearance of a boy at the film's beginning, and the puppet's existence. However, considering Philip's unstable mental state, it is uncertain whether any of these events truly occurred. The film concludes with Philip gazing into the distance, clutching the puppet's head, leaving viewers with a sense of ambiguity and sympathy for his situation. Mother 2017. Darren Aronofsky's films tend to evoke extreme reactions from viewers. Either they make you deeply uncomfortable or you've considered an unhinged monster. Mother is a sprawling narrative that delves into biblical allegories, the challenges of motherhood and environmentalism, while also serving as an introvert's worst nightmare. Jennifer Lawrence's character undergoes increasing torment in a world that becomes more nonsensical with each passing moment, presenting a heightened and exaggerated version of our own reality. In the end, the one idyllic home transforms into a fiery hellscape inhabited by violent followers of Javier Bardem's character, Him. Mother sets the house ablaze, sacrificing herself, while Him replaces her with a new woman, mirroring the film's opening. The heavy-handed allegory underscores the idea that our greed will eventually lead to the destruction of our planet. Considering almost everyone dies except for him, it can be seen as a significant loss. You give and you give and you give. It's just never enough. The Wicker Man 1973 
Sergeant Howie, Edward Woodward, investigates the disappearance of a girl on the secluded Scottish island of Summer Isle and finds the locals to be peculiar. As a devout Christian, their pagan beliefs shock him, especially their public festivities and the exposure of children to adult customs associated with the Maypole. Despite Howie's suspicion, the islanders vehemently deny the existence of the missing girl. The tension escalates as Howie confronts the islanders during a ritual, assuming that Rowan will be the sacrificial victim. However, Howie himself was the intended sacrifice all along. He's enclosed in a massive wicker man and set ablaze. Howie dies while praying, but his god does not save him. Neither the islanders nor Howie's belief emerge victorious. The islanders sacrifice Howie in an attempt to appease their gods after facing crop failures, but it remains uncertain whether their efforts will be successful. The film raises questions about the number of deaths on the island and the potential for more if the cult persists. Evil Dead 1987 The Deadites may be making a comeback with The Evil Dead Rise, but let's revisit what many fans consider the best installment of the franchise. Sam Raimi's Evil Dead 2 combines slapstick humor, frenetic camera work, gruesome gore, and Ash Williams' iconic character. While highly entertaining, the film ending holds a profound tragedy. Serving as a requel, sequel, reimagining, the repetition of Ash's ordeal diminishes the comedy, but the conclusion delivers a devastating blow. After seemingly defeating evil and losing loved ones, Ash is unexpectedly transported to medieval England in 1300 AD. There, he encounters and easily dispatches a winged Deadite, realizing he never truly triumphed over evil. The malevolent creatures from the Necronomic persist, including the living and rendering Ash's struggles futile. Despite this, the Deadites haven't won either. Ash's fight is just beginning, evoking a hint of sympathy for the undead foes. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about these amazing horror stories. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 horror movie lists. Thank you for watching and see you next time. You're going down.